when we're going to start treatment, we're going to start at the elbow. Um, Nivea, my favourite. You're a real fan of Nivea, aren't you? I'm a big fan of Nivea. <laughs> I was just in, I was just teaching in uh, in uh, Hamburg, and there's a big factory there. <laughs> you must have been in your element. I was. I asked them, "Can you do a bucket?" But they didn't. Uh, okay, so uh, what? So the technique deliberately uses trigger points in an algorithm. And the first thing we're going to look at is something called the constam reflex. Okay, so the constam reflex is when, when, you, uh, when you're a kid, you know, what we've done it, is that you put your hands in a door frame and you push for about 30 seconds, sort of just sub-maximal, 70, 80%, and you let go and the arms float up on their own, okay? So that is a, what's called a tonogenic reflex. Mm -hmm. And we have one in the ankle, we have one in the, in, the super, in, the, in the shoulder. And what's happening there is that you're loading the, the Golgi tendon and the muscle spindle, and the brain is expecting your shoulder to be at a certain height. But because you're restricting it in the door, you're not achieving that height. And then mm -hmm. what happens when you let go is that in order to even it out, the, 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 body, the brain automatically elevates the shoulder. So we saw with her that she can't lift the shoulder. Yeah. You saw how it was yep. restricted. Yep. So effectively, I am the door, I'm holding here, and I'm gonna come up here. Now I'm gonna trace that tight band that I felt all the way to the elbow, all the way up. Okay. We can keep talking while I'm doing that. Yeah. Drummer has asked why you, you commented on active range of motion, but you didn't appear to test active range of motion. Okay. Um, for the purposes, <laughs> I should I probably I should probably should have done okay. So I apologise. However, it, because she's in a significant amount of pain, I yeah. just try to minimise the amount of yeah. trauma that I'm doing. And, and so what I'm doing now is I'm tracing this band all the way up, and I'm coming to the subacromial space. I'm on the supra, and I'm going to do a little, just a kind of almost surgical cut here just to open it up and again I'm going to come here. How's that feel to you Lorraine? Um, feels a bit sore actually. The first, oh that, yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> so the depth and the speed mm. and the, the everything is really important um, and I'm, it's almost like I'm squeezing toothpaste from a tube. I'm not I'm not going too deep because I'm really trying to get that constant reflex stimulated. So I'm fixing here. Now, importantly, the next step is teres major. So what we're going to do is just have you hold your hand here. Now with a frozen shoulder, we look at teres minor, but with a rotator, we look at teres major. So teres major is not one of the cuff muscles, but through a lot of trial error and experience, we're going to come now to a trigger point in Teres Major, around about there, as she Yeah, will. and uh, the expression on Lorraine's face suggests you've hit it. I think we might have done. No mm. need to thank me, Lorraine. Well, moving on. Yeah. You've done long courses on trigger points, so your dry yeah. needling courses. Yes. Uh, concentrate on trigger points. Yes. How easy is it for you to find that with that blunt object that you're digging into, Lorraine, at the moment? Well, so, okay. I've used elbows pretty much since the second year of university. Mm. I was taught to use elbows to, the palpation is excellent with an elbow. It saves your thumbs. Mm. You know, over the years, I'm 32 years doing this stuff now. You can, because it's a short lever, you can generate much more force than with your thumbs. And I can palpate, I would say, to the fiber, literally to the fiber. So here we've got exactly a problem. Keep breathing for me, smile for the camera, thank you. And we're going to let go. Step three, let me have the weight. Passive circumduction, nice and heavy. Let me do the work. And we're just going to repeat that a couple of times. 